Zeven jaar al vecht de Britse Gary McKinnon tegen zijn mogelijke uitlevering aan de Verenigde Staten. Kort na de aanslagen op de Twin Towers werd hij betrapt op inbraak in de computers van het Pentagon en NASA. Op basis van een omstreden terreurverdrag tussen Engeland en Amerika oordeelde de rechter keer op keer dat McKinnon uitgeleverd mag worden. Toch krijgt hij misschien nog een laatste kans. Een jaar geleden is vastgesteld dat Gary leidt aan het syndroom van Asperger. Een vorm van autisme die gepaard gaat met hoge intelligentie. Politici van verschillende politieke partijen hebben de Britse minister van Binnenlandse Zaken inmiddels gevraagd de uitlevering tegen te houden. Lia van Bekhoven doet verslag. I've committed a crime, I've admitted to it and I'm very sorry and I've apologized many times. But I think the American authorities' response to the crime far outweighs what would have happened to me in my own country. I'm being treated like a terrorist in America. Twee maanden geleden verscheen Gary McKinnon voor het laatst voor de camera. Vlak voor de Britse Hoge Raad een laatste beroep tegen zijn uitlevering afwees. Sindsdien woont hij bij zijn moeder en komt hij de deur niet meer uit. How does he spend his days now? Oh, well, he's in very bad. He stays in. He used to go out and run. He doesn't go out and run anymore. Uh, he, he used to cycle. He doesn't do any of this anymore. He stays in. He's very scared. He doesn't want to talk to us. He, he doesn't want to talk to anyone. I mean, even his uh, partner recently uh, phoned up. She was uh, crying and uh, because she thought he, he was. Uh, so bad he couldn't speak to her, he hadn't spoken to anyone and she felt that he was in danger of taking his own life. He has to stay here, he would not survive over there, uh, Gary would be finished. I mean he's, he's 43, this started when he was 35, he's lost the years from the age of 35 to 43, he's lost that and we've lost that seven and a half years of our lives. Gary in gelukkige tijden. Als zoon van een muzikale moeder schrijft en produceert hij soms zijn eigen videoclips. Gary actually made this, Janice. He actually did this. Yeah, Gary wrote the song and he played all the instruments. He did it all in his bedroom. I mean, he hasn't got any sophisticated equipment. He had basically done all of it himself because he was actually allowed to use his computer. Although he was arrested in 2002, he was allowed to use his computer until June 2005. Hij was allowed to be online, which shows you how uh, not dangerous he was. As a boy, uh, I always remember he used to tell, he used to stay in the room too often and he would uh, be crazy about the UFOs and when we got a computer, uh, he was really uh, obsessed with uh, finding out about UFOs, playing games. Uh, music and he actually said to me, please, he says, don't make me go out to play because he wasn't, he didn't feel I'm lonely in this room. He felt this was his room of discovery. De Amerikanen claimen dat Gary McKinnon heeft ingebroken in tientallen computers bij NASA en het Pentagon. Hij kan in de VS een gevangenisstraf tegemoet zien van 60 jaar. McKinnon verloor in de afgelopen zeven jaar elk appel tegen zijn uitlevering. Maar nu officieel is vastgesteld dat hij leidt aan het syndroom van Asperger. Is er nieuwe hoop, ook bij zijn advocaten? Het is zeven jaar, hij is nog hier en we zijn nog strijdig en we gaan nog steeds strijden. Nu, don't de Amerikanen een punt hebben? Gary McKinnon kon easily have been somebody working for Al-Qaeda. Well, exactly. He could have been, but he, you know, but he wasn't. He didn't, he didn't cause that damage. He could, he had certainly had the opportunity to do, to do that, and he, and he didn't take it. And as I say, there are lots of other people hacking into the uh, very supposedly secure American systems at the same time. Again, who could have. Um, cause that sort of damage but you know Gary didn't and he's not a terrorist he's got no political uh, views in that way at all. De invloedrijke Daily Mail staat inmiddels achter Gary McKinnon. Zelfs de hoogste terreurbestrijder in Engeland, Lord Carlyle, keert zich tegen zijn uitlevering aan de VS. Were you surprised that it takes so long for this case to um, become politically important if you like in Britain? Um, I think the fact that he's diagnosed now with Asperger's has, has certainly raised the uh, spectrum a lot in terms of the British public. Um, but it has been in, uh, quite uh, involved. It's certainly the politicians have been aware of it for quite some time. It has been raised in Parliament on a number of occasions. Ook parlementariërs laten steeds luider hun stem horen, zoals Labour-afgevaardigde Michael Meacher. Hij vindt dat minister van Binnenlandse Zaken Ellen Johnson de uitlevering moet tegenhouden. Johnson weigert dat omdat hij dan zou handelen in strijd met de wet. The real question is uh, what we can do 
uh, when Alan Johnson says that he really has no legal powers to prevent Gary being extradited. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, of course, but I frankly find that very difficult to believe uh, because I think what he certainly can do uh, is on compassionate grounds, and there are very good compassionate grounds. Uh, first of all, Gary's medical condition, the Asperger's syndrome, uh, the fact that he didn't have any malevolent motive. This is not about giving away US uh, military secrets to the enemy. Uh, and there is a real issue of the Americans after 2001, after the attack on 9-11, um, just becoming very paranoid. Why do you think that the Americans are so keen on having Gary extradited? I think they wanted someone as an example for computer crime. Rather than tighten the security, I think they think to show what we'll do if you dare, you know, break into our systems, what they do is uh, increase the sentences, scare everyone. Now, Gary was the only person who's ever admitted to computer misuse without having a lawyer. Every other uh, accused hacker, even after 9-11 in Britain, has denied it. They've had the sense to deny it. Gary's naive, he trusted the high-tech crime unit, they're computer people like me, he said, and he uh, was very honest, and he says, no, don't worry, they told me I'll have six months community service. So I think the Americans thought, oh, we'll have him, he's a soft touch, he'll be easy. Not so, it won't be easy to take my son. I also think that a good Home Secretary would look again at the extradition treaty which we did sign in 2003, which is grossly prejudicial against the interests of Britain, it's very wanted, and it puts us in a position of vassalage to the United States. I think that should be reconsidered. This is a very important case, not only at the personal level, but at the international level as well. Are you prepared for the worst? No, I'm not prepared for the worst. Gary is not going. It's not happening. Uh, are they going to take him screaming and shouting on a plane? Well, all the mothers and of people with Asperger's and autism, which there's one in a hundred, well, we all stand there and fight and scream. It would be so bad for them, they would never be elected again. Gary is not going. Tot zover deze Nova. Morgen zijn we er weer. Graag tot dan. Fijne vrijdagavond nog.